When I started showing videos of our installs a few years ago, an alarming number of people around the world have asked me why there are so many rooftop package units on homes in the Sacramento area. That's coming up today on Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. If this is your first time watching this channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to grab some of the same stuff we wear out on the job in the field. I understand it's not normal in your section of the country and you just haven't seen it before. And you want to know why someone would put their AC system on the roof. Because most residential HVAC systems are split systems, they have a furnace or air handler inside the house and the AC is located on the outside of the house. And a copper line set runs between the two as well as low voltage lines. And two separate high voltage circuits have to be run to power a split system. That takes up more room in the electrical panel too. Some homes built back then now have homeowners who want AC in that home now and they have a package unit cut into the rooftop because there's no more than two spots left in the main electrical panel available. And that's only because they're taking over the 240 spot for that window AC that they've been using all this time. So why would you choose to put it on the roof as opposed to the ground? In Sacramento, it's normal to see neighborhoods which were built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s to have package unit on all the rooftops in the neighborhood as their means of central heating and cooling. Understandably, a home builder is going to spec out the entire neighborhood that they're building to save money and to make a good profit. To win the bid as the builder, you have to be a good contractor and be the cheapest. Split systems cost more to install and take up more footprint than package units. There's less investment for the builder or homeowner to run one high voltage electrical circuit than it is to run one. And it's also a lot cheaper for the builder or homeowner because there's no copper line set to run between the two units on a split system. In a time where landscaping is so popular and people are building lattice structures around their units anyways, space can be precious. So putting it on the roof frees up some space. It's also much easier to service a package unit than it is to service a split system in a hot cramped attic. Maintenance can be performed regularly with greater ease than a split system. There's a lot less running back and forth between units when you just have one package unit on the roof. Granted, there is the part about needing to use a ladder to access the unit and that can have its own downfalls. Ladder work is serious business and proper ladder safety is paramount to a successful HVAC career. Entire neighborhoods were built on slab foundations, so we can't run duct work under those houses like a lot of homes in the Sacramento area. I've seen some homeowners put package units on the ground on the side of the house and then run two metallic large chases up to the attic and from there the air gets distributed as usual but I don't see this too often and it's a pretty industrious look over there on the side of the house if you do it that way. The threat of snow here is light enough to operate the heating side in the winter time without having to worry about snow drifts piling up and blocking combustion air or exhaust. Sacramento and the surrounding areas get flurries occasionally, but nothing really sticks. So snow drifts and major accumulations aren't really a thing here. Above 2,000 foot level, hey, anything can happen. But down here in the valley, snow isn't really a thing. Can you imagine trying to service a package unit on the roof in the snow? Leave a comment down below if you've had to service a package unit in the snow. I mean, there's gotta be some good stories out there. Commercial techs do this all the time, albeit usually on a flat roof. Most homes in this area have at least a three on 12 pitch. That's like 15 degrees, which would make it pretty slippery. One of the last advantages to having package units on the roof is the mechanical aspect of our central air conditioning system is far away from children's curious hands. I don't hear of it often, but there is a really fast spinning condenser fan blade removing heat from the system. And if a child or dog got too close, it could get messy. Speaking of dogs, your dog can't pee on the condenser coils as easy on the roof as it can when it's on the ground. I've seen many systems ruined by dog urine on the copper coils and they don't go together very well. So what's the weather like on the roof? Well, here in Sacramento, eight months of the year are pretty darn nice up there. I gotta tell you, I would much rather be on a rooftop servicing or installing equipment than in the attic cramped up 
where on the same day, the temps in the attic versus the temps on the roof are at least 30 degrees warmer. But let's get real. The hard work comes during the hottest times of the year when Sacramento is above 90 and 100 degrees. As the sun hits us when it's coming down, and again, as it reflects off the rooftop back up to us, it can be brutal on that rooftop. Serious health risks are involved when you neglect proper hydration and mix it with hard work, heat, and sunshine. All technicians have to pay attention to how much water they drink before they decide to take on the problems of the HVAC world in hot temperatures. Another concern with having a package unit on the roof for some homeowners is, is the package unit secure up there? I have two points to cover on this. Secure in the one meaning when we talk about how it's mounted to the house so that it doesn't slide off the roof. A stand is installed on the roof with lag screws mounted into the roof joist and then it's weatherized to prevent leaks. An adjustable curb can also be used and flashed into the existing roof shingles. The package unit sits level on top of that stand or curb and metal straps hold it down so that it's earthquake proof. The second point about it being secure is it's a lot harder to steal a package unit when it's on the roof. Now I'm not saying it's impossible. We personally have had a customer on one side of town that had their brand new condenser coils ripped out of the package unit on its third month of operation. He wanted the copper coils to trade in for cash most likely and there's a lot of copper in these units. As systems move towards all aluminum designs, theft will decline with it. That thief didn't take the evaporator coil which was made of aluminum microchannel. But at the same time, I have a story about a traditional AC system and the condenser on the back side of the house where a thief put a rope or a chain around the condenser, which was 100 feet away from the street, and drove off with it. When we got there, it was pretty impressive to see. The line set had been ripped out of the stucco wall on its way up two stories into the attic. At one point, about halfway up the wall, the copper was ripped apart. Efficiencies and sear ratings of package units only go so high. On traditional split systems, ratings are going up as high as 25 sear in 2019. Package units only go up to about 16 sear here in our area, so this might weigh in on a homeowner's decision to stay with a package unit when it comes time for replacement. One negative stigma that comes with owning a package unit uh, on the roof is the noise. The constant vibration and hum of the unit working on your rooftop. It's something that people get used to over time, but new homeowners are not usually happy when they hear it for the first time. See, we have a machine strapped to the unit that vibrates when the AC comes on. The compressor and a couple motors will cause this noise. Mainly the compressor though, which is why it's not as noticeable in the heating season. The unit sits on the roof joist. The roof joists are attached to the ceiling and the walls, so the noise just reverberates throughout the house. Well, this has to be one of the most asked questions on my YouTube channel and social media. I hope this answers the question as to why there are so many package units on the rooftop here in California. And if this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right and click that little bell right next to it. You'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to grab the same stuff we wear on the job out in the field. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.